How's Grodd holding up, Harley? He's lost a lot of blood, but he seems to be stable. He just needs rest. Listen, Waller's getting impatient. Green Arrow and Batman have become dead weight. It's time for us to carry on the rest of this mission. Maybe the gorillas can help us. Trust me, the moment he wakes up, we're all dead. We need to move. Move? Move where? Arrow, you're supposed to be back with Batman. Batman's dead. What? You killed him. Arrow, Waller is watching. If you do this... She'll do what? Blow my head off? As in things could get any worse for this group? Either she will, or I will. If you don't put your weapon down. You first, Deadshot. Uh, guys? Not now, Harley. We're going to complete the mission. Get into Condoc, destroy the weapon, and meet Evac. As soon as we find Canary and the others. Sure, check the bottom of the nearest river. Guys! You're going to Condoc? For a weapon? I, I, I don't move. Or this time, I'll put one between your eyes. Do you know what you're looking for, assassin? No. I'm just told that I'll know it when I see it. I've known for months. You'll need me. Wait. What do you mean? The doctor. She saved my life. I am... indebted to her. Plus, our causes may align after all. Go on. I was born in Kondak. All of us were. I was the first of our kind, though. A genetically modified gorilla. Given intelligence above all primates. Power above all. We were created to be soldiers. To dominate the continent. Then the world. An ape army? Their king, Teth Adam. He swore to his people that none of their blood was to be shed in wars from now until forever. He offered us up instead. So you rebelled? Escaped into the jungle and started your colony? No. We were helpless to his power. Even the slightest show of aggression would be met with the harshest of punishment. So how did you escape? The day the gods clashed. Excuse me? One day... The skies grew dark, and another godlike being emerged from the thunder, bearing the same lightning bolt on his chest as Adam. The two clashed. The entire city shook. No, the entire country shook. Superman? No. He was another being of godlike proportions. So, under the rolls of thunder, I lead my people out of the city and into the jungle where we only wish to be left in peace. You said that you knew what the weapon was. It's him, the god that Teth Adam conquered. He's been taken captive, held below the city. Well, that doesn't explain the power surges. It explains them clearly. He's been connected with a horrible machine. The power drained from his body for nearly a year. A human battery? Exactly. Your weapon is no weapon at all. It's a hostage. Used to power the city. You getting all this, Waller? Mm-hmm. Every word. Mission's over. Get everyone to the evac site. Waller says we're out of here. Let's go. What? You can't be serious. What about Dinah? She's dead, Oliver. They're all dead. Then show me her body. You know I can't do that. I'm with Arrow. You are? Of course. What can I say? I'm a sucker for romance. Especially ones that end in gruesome bloody death. Ah. And you, Grodd? I am a debt to the Doctor. I will help in your cause. Well, looks like you're on your own, Lawton. See you around. What? You can't just go. There are bombs in your heads. Well, then I guess this will finally give Waller a chance to use them. Harley, Grodd, let's go. Bye, Deadshot. If that is your real name. You're making a mistake. 
Ugh, screw it. Lawton, what are you doing? Completing the mission, ma'am. Dead shot out. Don't you dare turn off that comm, Lawton. Lot. Oh? Well, glad to see you could join us. Well, you're going to need a lot more than a clown and a gorilla to make it out of there alive. So what's the plan? Kundak is about a day's travel north. We should be there by sundown. What? What? Road trip? Can I ride you back? <laughs> Absolutely not. <clears throat> like that? <clears throat> All right. Woo! Yippee! <laughs> It's no use. The bars are thick. Solid steel. I can't even bend them. Well, keep trying. Giving up on your boyfriend, finally? No, not at all. But at this point, it might be him who needs to be saved. <sighs> Frost. Vertigo, you're awake? It hurts. Everywhere. Count Vertigo's awake? Unfortunately. Good. All right. Vertigo, you hit the guards with your Vertigo effect to disorient them. Frost can freeze the locks while Croc... Canary, enough. Vertigo can hardly move, let alone execute an escape plan. We can't just sit around anymore. We have to get out of here. You wish to leave your cell. What... What are you doing here? I know where your friends are. You do? They've been taken. Held hostage by a tribe of apes. Their king, Grodd. He's not as honorable as I am. Your friends will all be dead soon. So what? Suddenly you feel bad for us? You're going to save our friends and send us on our way? Not at all. They're all ants waiting for the right boot to crush them. I've deemed your group to be the right boot. You want us to kill their king? Kill Gorilla Grodd, get your friends, and be gone. I will handle the rest. Their king is actually a gorilla? No questions. Do we have a deal? He extended a hand to me through the bar. All I could do was stare at it. Trembling. This whole thing felt like I was making a deal with the devil. But if it was a deal that could save Oliver, I'd do worse. All right? Deal. Gods. Their selves. So, where do we find this Gorilla King? They're a loud bunch, your friends. Harley. All I can do is point you in the right direction, but you shouldn't have trouble from there. When do we leave? Now. Their king, Teth Adam, is he really a god? They say he was a man, a slave to the ancient rulers of this land centuries ago, until a mystical being granted him the power to overtake his oppressors, to set his people free. Hmm, doesn't sound all that bad to me. Power unchecked is often overwhelming. Teth Adam is protective of this land to a fault. He slaughtered so many, he became known as a Black Death. But in years since, the name has just been Black Adam. So that's why we've never even heard of this place. Outside countries new to steer clear. At least until now. Waller has a way of getting what she wants. She saw Black Adam as a threat to the United States. And now here we are to take him down. She had no idea what she was sending you into. Or maybe she did. She just didn't care. <laughs> What's that? Look at I don't see anything. <laughs> I smell it. A human. It's probably me. 
Ugh, been a rough couple of days. It isn't you. It's... Oh my god, Dinah! Ali? I thought I'd never see you again. So you weren't coming after me? No, I, I was. We are, but... Look, but now you're here, and... and... <sighs> I turned around to see the hulking killer croc lunge out of the brush, grabbing a hold of Grodd, knocking Harley off onto the ground. The two of them were locked in a deathmatch, teeth and claws swinging wildly. Hey, Croc! Stop that! Croc, what's going on? I'll explain later. For now, we've got to take him down. Take him down? He's helping us! <laughs> I seen him down. Frost? Don't just stand there and put one between his eyes! You miserable humans! This was nothing but an ambush! It wasn't! You gotta believe me! Come on, dead shots. The sooner you kill this thing, the sooner we go home. No, let me explain. Ugh, just get out of my way then. Ugh. It's okay, Ali. We'll be home before you know it. <sighs> A little help would be nice. I'm on it. Dinah, no! I did. did you just trip me? We need him. No. What we need is a one-way ticket back home. Have you forgotten who we're dealing with? We need to complete the mission. There's a... Complete the mission? Have you been brainwashed? Does Waller have her claws in you now? I mean, look who you're siding with, Deadshot and Harley Quinn? And that's better than you with Frost and Croc? I don't want to be on their team. I want to be on yours, Ollie. Then trust me. I've been trusting you. We do things my way now. I can't let you kill him. I'm not asking. Come on, then. You really want to do this? Only if you make me. I'm doing this for you. You remember that. Grodd isn't the enemy here, Frost. Black Adam is. Grodd's death is our ticket out of here. Are you taking it? There's more than one way out of this. Hey, let go of me! We still have a mission. Grodd's either going to be with us or against us. Funny, I was about to say the same thing about you. Uh, hey! I thought you'd be more enthusiastic about seeing your daughter again. Guess I was wrong. Stay put. Croc, I really don't want to hurt ya. Then help me, clown. Take out his knees. I'll tear you apart. I can't. I'm really sorry about this. <laughs> wow, you're tougher than I thought. My back broke across your jaw. I have a pin now. Help the others. I'll kill him slowly. No, you can't kill him. Why not? Because you owe me. You are holding back. Uh, you sure as hell aren't. Because I want to go home, Oliver. We deserve it after this shit. And there's somebody in Kondok who still needs to be saved. Who? Stop kicking me out and I'll tell you. All right. All right, Ollie. This is me. Listening. Somebody powerful enough to beat Black Adam. They say he's a god. If we free him, it can buy us all time to escape without any more bloodshed. And if we don't? Then I'll be up every single night, staring at the blood in my hands and thinking about his screams. We wouldn't be able to let it go, would we? Not the Dinah I know. Ugh. <sighs> Croc! Frost! Stand down! There's been a change of plans. What? But we've almost got him! Did you expect me to just forget these wretched animals? Oh, you caught an animal. All right, everybody. If we're getting out of here, we all need to be on the same page. Now, where's Vertigo? 
Oh, he could hardly walk, so we left him along the tree line of the city to wait for us. Where's Batman? He's... He didn't make it. Oh, don't look so sad, Arrow. One less mess to clean off the streets, right? He didn't die a monster. He saved all of us. Without him, we never would have made it this far. How sweet. The entire group turned on a dime, seeing Black Adam hovering just over the tree line. He was holding something. I couldn't quite make it out at the moment. You've all made choices and sacrifices to make it to this very moment. A moment that'll define you for the further duration of your very short lives. You dare come here! Well, it wasn't my first stop. That was when he dropped it. A long, slim object covered in sizzling black fur. The arm of a chimpanzee, still smoking from the shock. I made a stop at your little gorilla city first, Grodd. These pawns made for an excellent distraction. No. I told you long ago that disobedience would be met by bloodshed. And here we are. A traitor and a squad of refugees. Hold on. We can talk this out. Figure out a deal that benefits everyone. I felt a hand on my shoulder. I looked back to see Dinah, her eyes unlike any I'd ever seen. Pure, hopeless terror. She tried the same tactic, but Black Adam wasn't a man who could be reasoned with. He was a force of nature, and we were about to feel his wrath. At that moment, all I could do, all any of us could do, was run. Arrow Canary, Part 6, Deals with the Devil. Written, directed, edited, and produced by Matthew Dawson. The voice cast for this episode by order of appearance include Joey Sarlis as Deadshot, Ify as Harley Quinn, Adam Kornman as Green Arrow, Dante Majors as Gorilla Grodd, Tiani Ma as Amanda Waller, Ryan Yoshitani as Killer Croc, Crystal Storm as Black Canary, Stacy Clifton as Killer Frost, Max Adrian Burton as Count Vertigo, and Damon Alums as Black Adam. If you would like to connect with us, please find us on Twitter at Mortalverse. We are also on YouTube at Mortalverse Audio Dramas. This production is the effort of Mortalverse Audio Dramas and its volunteering associates. It is in no way affiliated with or representative of Warner Brothers or DC Comics and their characters. This project was created by the fans for the fans to show our appreciation towards this franchise. This project has been released for free. Thank you to everyone who helped bring this project to life. Mortalverse Audio Dramas will always be grateful for your time and dedication to this project. Dedicated to Kevin Dawson.